Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Gaming, I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergy. Mario's been around for ages, and as technology improved, his look changed considerably. And not only that, but he collects a number of powers throughout the games that further change him. And there are even live action versions. And with all these different versions, it can be hard to keep track of who's who, and I'm here to sort out some of my favorites. So get ready, here are the Top 10 Alternate Versions of Mario. Metal Mario. Metal Mario was a villain in the N64 Super Smash Bros game, and he was such a jerk. Now, on the really high difficulties, it can be really hard to get the bugger off the damn edge. If he actually goes off the edge, then you're good because he drops like a rock, but it's tough to make him budge. That said, being Metal Mario ain't all it's cracked up to be. Sure, it's useful in Mario 64, but in later Smash games, we were able to pick up the Metal Box, allowing us to turn to Metal ourselves, and we learned the hard truth about being Metal in Smash Bros. <laughs> There's nothing more frustrating than accidentally going going off the edge, only to instantly plunge down to the bottom and die. <sighs> Number 9, Paper Mario. Paper Mario is a version of Mario that, well, that's made of paper. Bet you didn't see that coming. But I bet you never guessed what game he was in. Yeah, you're right, Paper Mario. Good guess. In Paper Mario, the 2D version of our favorite mustache man was adventuring to release his friends from playing cards, gaining different powers as he proceeds. It might look like it was just Nintendo trying to save money by making things 2D, but Paper Mario is actually a pretty neat version of the guy, and it's pretty cool how the game takes advantage of the two-dimensional nature of the character. Number 8, Mega Mario. This one's pretty frickin' epic, and it's found in a number of Mario games. By picking up the Mega Mushroom, Mario turns into Mega Mario, growing to an enormous size and gaining the ability to straight up crush anyone and anything in his path. This would be pretty useful in real life, but it would also be terrifying to see an enormous Italian plumber strolling down the street destroying buildings and crushing people. Either way, it's a damn strong power up for Mario, and he puts it to good use in game. Number 7, Cosmic Mario. Cosmic Mario was introduced in Super Mario Galaxy, and he looks super cool, kind of like he's made up of space itself. Cosmic Mario would appear when Mario entered a galaxy with a cosmic comet orbiting it, and he would challenge Mario to a race to the Power Star. And you better win, because otherwise you have to try a again and try to ignore the incredibly annoying high pitched voice of Cosmic Mario which is almost as bad as the na 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 guy from Spyro Number 6, Fire Flower Mario. When Mario activates a flower power up, his shirt turns white, overalls turn red, and most importantly, he gains the ability to shoot big old fireballs. This is one of the best known versions, both due to the prevalence of it in the various Super Mario games, but also the fact that Mario uses his fireballs in the Super Smash games. It's gotten to the point where a lot of people think Mario can always shoot fire, which really speaks to how popular this version of Mario is. Number 5, Jumpman. This one might be a bit controversial since there's a group of people who think Jumpman is Mario's dad rather than Mario himself. But I'll talk about that in a later video, so for now I'll take the Jumpman is Mario position. In the original Donkey Kong game, you played as Jumpman, who had a big mustache, overalls, and a hat. So basically Mario. Considering it was such an early video game, he wasn't exactly the most artistically beautiful version, but he's pretty cool. And this game set a standard for the future. Apparently a mouth would be too hard to make since it would be so small, so that's why they made him with a mustache. The more you know. Number 4, Baby Mario. First appearing in Yoshi's Island, Baby Mario is the baby form of everyone's favorite Italian plumber. With a big nose, enormous hat, and a huge splash of cuteness, Baby Mario has been in a bunch of titles since his introduction. Given his cuteness and youth, Baby Mario is particularly popular with children, and at the risk of sounding sexist, with the ladies. But I'm not gonna lie, he's pretty sick in Mario Tennis. So fast. Number 3, Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario really changed things up for Mario, and not just because he was dressed like a doctor. His first game and sequels that followed took a step away from the arcade style side scrolling games to do more of a Tetris style game, using pills. Dr. Mario became a super popular version, even getting his own character in Super Smash Bros. Even though I never really liked playing as him in Smash Bros, the Dr. Mario games are classics, and definitely make the character a classic in my eyes. Number 2, Live Action Mario. Yep, there was a live action Super Mario. Mario Bros movie. They're brothers. Yep, it was awful. Come and get it, lizard breath. Yep, you're probably gonna go watch it now. In this movie, Mario was played by Bob Hoskins, and I gotta say, as terrible as the film was, Bob Hoskins was an incredible choice for Mario. Just because I've never seen someone who looked so damn much like Mario. He didn't sound much the same, but that's to be expected considering the cartoonish voice Mario normally has. I won't get into everything wrong with the movie right now, since I'm sure it wouldn't dissuade you from watching it anyway. Go ahead, it's your funeral. Super Mario Brothers. This ain't no game. Number one, Ron Jeremy Mario. Okay. 
This is simultaneously the best version of Mario ever and the most vile version ever. But here goes. In the 1993 classic porn film, Super Horneo Brothers, the part of Mario was played by none other than Ron Jeremy. And in case you're trying to figure out if he was all old and gross by 1993, he was. I can't say I've personally watched the movie, but in researching this video, I was subjected to pictures from it. And let me tell you, you do not want to watch this movie. It will just make you hate Mario. I'd suggest just reveling in the fact that this movie exists. But if you insist on watching it and want to avoid the nudity, there's actually a porn-free version that I'll link down below. The acting's still terrible, but at least you don't have to see Ron Jeremy naked. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for more gaming vids. Which version of Mario is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie LaFergie with Top 10 Gaming. Later gamers.